JDs and gentlemen, I am here today to ask and answer one simple question. Can you complete the whole PAL world PAL deck without capturing a single PAL? I mean, if you've played the game, you actually know that the answer is just no. So the question then becomes, how many captures would it take? According to the in-game PAL deck, there are 111 PALs to capture. But what if I told you that was a lie? You see, there's actually 138 pals in total. So out of these 138 pals, how many of them can you get? And how many captures would it take? First off, we should define some rules for this challenge. I've only got two rules. And the first rule is of course that for the challenge to be completed, the pal deck must have every entry filled. I know this doesn't contain all 138 pals, but this is the easiest way to track it, unfortunately. And rule number two, I'm allowed to use some mods. These aren't going to be game breaking mods, it's simply just to speed up the process. You could, in theory, do all of this without any mods, and in all honesty, I just don't have time for that. So here are the three mods that I'll be using. First off, we've got the faster breeding mod, and it's just to unlock breeding as soon as possible. The 100% catch rate mod, because if I need to capture something, I just want to catch it, I don't want to mess around. And last of all, the increased base workers mod, because I thought it would be kind of funny and if I was already using mods, then I may as well use mods. For the record, I am calling this easy mode because using mods does make it just that bit easier. But it also leaves a gap to make a hard mode video in the future. So subscribe for that. As always, I stream all of these challenges over on my Twitch channel. So if you want to see the next one before it becomes a video, then come check me out. Starting off this challenge, I knew this would not be easy in the slightest. I knew that my first goal would be to unlock the egg incubator that unlocks at level 7. If I had eggs, I could incubate the eggs, get pals, which would let me fight, train and level up faster. To get to level 7, I had to scrape my way through by gathering resources and killing helpless pals, keeping an eye out for any eggs along the way for any future pals. I managed to make it all the way to level 7 before I realised my mistake. The egg incubator itself requires ancient civilization parts in order to craft it. These parts only drop from pal bosses that are around the world, and my trusty wooden bat wasn't going to be enough. This is when I remembered that the syndicate bases existed. Freeing the pal they've got locked away means that they join your team. I just need to find a way into each base to unlock the cage. Oh, that was easier than expected. Um, let's go get some more. It wasn't all sunshine and free pals, however. I did die a couple of times, but after grabbing my items and running for the hills, I managed to get away without losing anything, except a bit of my dignity. After clearing out a bunch of the syndicate bases, I soon had a full party and was able to take on Chalet, the first pal boss. This kill granted me enough ancient parts to craft the egg incubator. From the first batch of eggs, I did pretty well. I had 8 eggs in total and I got 7 new pals. I managed to get the deer that nobody can pronounce, a fox barks, surfing, chill it, a daydream, dinosaur, and a cinemoth. I'm happy with that to be honest, that's a good grounding for a base. This puts us on a total of 13 out of 138 pals and that's a pretty decent start. With my next goal of the breeding farm being far off on the horizon, I set about making the most of the incubator by rolling the egg loot boxes and hoping for a good prize. Sure enough, after a few more eggs, I had a strong team of pals ready to slave away for me while I ran around like a half-naked, deranged egg lover. I continued my journey, egg after egg, and slowly but surely, my pal deck was filling up. Getting to level 19 actually didn't take that long, it was only 2 or 3 hours, and if I had goofed around a bit less, I probably could have done it a bit quicker. The only problem is that it was a lot of run around and farming the same kills. Chill it, gamos, rinse and repeat. I would also farm any syndicate bases that respawned while I was out collecting eggs and grab the pals that were locked away. I've tried my best to count the pals I've collected so far and before any breeding starts, I've managed to get the number from 13 up to 25. So I think that's pretty decent for not actually being able to capture anything. After hitting 19, I realised that I need a new base. 
So I set out to find an area that had enough space to make several breeding farms and got to work on building that base. After a short while, I had a new base with three breeding farms set up and ready to go. Dinosaur Surfing Univolt. Univolt and Penking. Incineram. Surfing and Ectodeer. Tinda Rayhound. Boom. And no best. Incineram Darahill gets us. Kitsun. Kitsun and Malcrest. Rushore. Incineram and Rushore. Which makes no sense. So Anubis and Rushore gave us a large rocky egg, which is. Digitoys. Malcrest and Rushore. I am getting Kilimari. There's Tansy. Gamos. So Celery and Malcrest. Ruby. Malcrest. Kilimari. Malcrest is used in a lot of these. Flambelle came from. Jolt Hog and Malcrest. Is Flambelle and Hang You, which gets us. Spark it. Nice. Anubis and Jolt Hog. Fingalo. So Depresso came from Hang You and Toko Toko. The Verdon Egg from Dire Hill Chickapea. And it's a floppy. So this is from Tansy and Anubis. And I guess it's a Mazarina. Okay, so that was Tansy and Rush Or gets his Willy Pop. Anubis Kilimari is. You're pretty. Kitsun and Surfing gets us. Catris from Anubis and Penking. Elphadran. The Dark Egg from Gale Claw and Rush Or. Gets us Cognito. So this is Elphadran and Surfant, which is Elphadran Aqua. Elphadran Aqua and Cinemoth have made Grintail. Malcrist and Chickpea. Lamball. Doomud and Toko Toko, which gets us Lee Spunk from Anubis Toko Toko. Gets us Lipman. Common Egg from Hang You and Chickpea. Gets us Kativa. Chickpea and Lamball. Gets you. Hey Mal, Hang You Lambo gets you a Vixie. Dampeg from Cognito and Mal Christ, which is a Kelpsy. The Dampeg from Chickpea and Mal gets us a Tifant. This is Mal Christ and Toko Toko gets us Who Crates. Tifant and Hang You. Common Egg gets us Kremus. Anubis and Tombat make us a Van Worm from Surfing and Doomud. Gets us Surfant Terra. Frozen Egg is from Mal and Rushore, which is a Swee. So the huge Scorch Egg here from Van Worm and Anubis is Phaleris. From Phaleris and Anubis gives us King Paka. Phaleris and Incineram gives us a Wumbo Botan. Fengalope and Anubis is Petelia. Scorch Egg from Toko Toko and Fengalope is. Uh, Wixen, and this is going to be an Ectodir Terra from Ectodir and Hang You. Fingalope and Dire Howl is Robin Quill, nice. And the Wixen and an Incineram, you get a Raindrex from Robin Quill and Fingalope. Makes a Felbat. Huge Frozen Egg from King Paka and the Reindeer. Gets me a King Paka Crest. Large frozen egg from a Wumpo and the King Pack of Crist is a Wumpo. Huge Verdant egg, which came from Fingalope and Felbat, gets me a Verdash. Large common egg here is going to make us a Lunaris. So Mal and Joe Hog got me Lift Monk. What's this? This is Chickpea and Ruby. And it's Flack. Rabunny and Anubis gets us Lavander. Tansy Willy Pop gets you. A Fuddler. The Damp Egg from Catrice and Mao gets you Govin. The Ice Egg from Swee and Hang You from Mao and Dinosum gets us Maraith from Lee's Punk and Flambelle gets us a Lee's Punk Ignis. From Maraith and Incineram gets us Incineram Noct. From Robin Quill and Fuddler is a Robin Quill Terra. From Incineram and Tifan gets us Gorurat. From a Van Worm. And a Mao gets his Bee Guard. From Anubis and Loop Moon gives us Foxicle. From Rayhound and Dinosum is a Dinosum Lux. From Van Worm and Foxicle is a Van Worm Crest. From Anubis and Univolt is a Bushy. Huge Verdant Egg from Mao and Van Worm Crest gets us a Veilette. From Dire Howl and Mao gets us Kelpsy Ignis. Gobfin and Ruby. And it's a Gobfin Ignis. Anubis Digitoys is Blaze Howl from Blaze Howl and Felbat. 
gives us Blaze Hill knocked. Masander? Yes. Masander came from Phaleris and Cinnamoth. From Masander and Anubis. Got me as your robe. From Wimpo and Phaleris. There's a Nightwing. Sweet. King Packer and Mosanda. Large frozen egg. There's a Sibilex. From Rayhound and Mosanda. Gets me a Grizzbolt. From Grizzbolt and Phaleris. Gets his Relaxaurus. From Relaxaurus and Lil Sparkit. Gets his Relaxaurus Lux. From Grizzbolt and Relaxaurus. Gets his Orzerk. From Relaxaurus and Sibilex. Gets me a Pyrin. So this is Large Scorching Egg from Catrice and Pyrin. And it's a Pyrin Noct. From Wumpo and Grizzbolt is a Lizabee. From Relaxaurus Lux and Grizzbolt gets his Beacon. From a Pyrin Noct and Anubis is a Sweeper. From Anubis and Grizzbolt gets his Ragnarok. From Orzerk and Grizzbolt is Astagon. From Astagon and Kitson is Shadowbeak. From Grizzbolt and Shadowbeak, Cryolynx, Incineram and Shadowbeak gets us Reptiro. From Grizzbolt and Masanda gets us Masanda Lux. From Grizzbolt and Masanda Lux is Mamorest. From Wumpo Botan and Grizzbolt is a Warsect. From Wumpo and Mamorest, Mamorest Crist. From Cryolynx and Anubis is a Quivern. From Mamorest and Grizzbolt is Menesting. From uh, Astagon and Grizzbolt is Hell Zephyr. Shadowbeak and Anubis gets us Jormantide. The huge red egg here from Masanda and, L and Petelia is a Liline. This huge dark egg from Menesting and Liline is Liline Noct. From Thwack and Broncherry gets us Broncherry Aqua. Uh, Reptyro. And Foxicle gets us Reptile Crest. At this stage, I have 128 of the 138 pals that I previously mentioned. The home stretch, if you will. So let's break down what's left. There's Blazamut, which is a non breedable, but it can be found in huge scorching eggs that are located in the wild. There's Suzaku and Suzaku Aqua, which are breedable, but only if I have Blazamut. Jormantide Ignis is a 5% chance to spawn from huge dragon eggs. And finally, the five legendaries of Jet Dragon, Rostalian, Rostalian Noct, Necromus, and Palladius. I did lose a bunch of huge wild eggs to a bug, I think it was mods or whatever. So I decided to capture both Blazamut and Jormantide Ignis, which for the first time, believe it or not, increased our capture count to two. Just two. It's unfortunate, but because these are avoidable, but it's fine. I'm not bothered. I then made the journey to capture four of the five legendaries, starting with Rostalian, and then moved on to Necromus and Palladius. Then went and captured Jet Dragon, who I expertly sniped from about 50 feet above. So our total capture count now sits at six, which is fine because we expected to have a few captures from the start. I then went back to base to breed up the last of the pals that I needed. I bred Frostalian and Shadowbeak to get Suzaku, and then Suzaku with Jormantide to get a Suzaku Aqua. For my final breed, it was Frostalian and Hell Zephyr to create Frostalian Knock. So there we have it. That is how I completed the Pal World Pal deck with only six captures, collecting all 137 pals. Wait, hold on. There's supposed to be 138 pals in the pal deck. I've been saying it this whole video. Well, technically there is. But the final pal doesn't have a pal deck entry. It's this guy right here. This is Special Flower Gamos. Now, he does have a chance of spawning, but I couldn't find him. And I don't think you can breed him because I bred like 50 Gamos and never got him, so I'm giving up. So... 137 out of 138 ain't bad. I'm still 137 pal deck entries out of the full 137. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit subscribe? And if you're looking for another video to watch, then please check out my previous video where I played games from my Steam library that I had never played before and then 
judged whether or not they were good. As always, thank you for watching.